Hi there booktube, it's Eleanor here and today I'm going to be wrapping up my February reading. I had a really good month in February, I got my first five star read, which if you haven't seen my video dedicated to that, um, then go and check it out. Um, it tells you all about the book and what I thought about it. Um, in this video I'm just going to do my usual wrap up, how many books I read, what categories there are, um, what ratings I gave them all um, and then I'm also going to do a quick wrap up of my Valentines. If you want to find out how I did in the Contemporary-a-thon I've got a separate video about that. Um, so let's get going. Uh, so this month I read 16 things, I had one five star read, five four star reads, nine three star reads and one two star read unfortunately. Out of those I had quite an eclectic month in terms of genre. I had five adult general fiction books, I had two middle grades, I had one classic, one new adult, two manga, three YA and two science fiction and fantasy reads. So a real big mix in there this month. And uh, let's just go through what those books were. So unfortunately my two star read was Conversations with Friends. Three stars I gave to Whiskey and Ribbons, Goss Girl uh, number one, Lick, City of Ghosts, Convenience Store Woman, Oh My Gods, Are We All Lemmings and Snowflakes, Red Sister and Far From the Madding Crowd. And then the four stars went to Orange Volume 1 and Volume 2, Holding, Love Song and Trail of Lightning. And my five star read this month, my favourite book was In At The Deep End, which as I say you can see a full review video of that um, if you check back on my videos. Um, so it was a really good month, I found that elusive five star read, I read some really good books, I've really enjoyed my reading, um, just sort of picking from my shelves, now my shelves are a little bit thinner, um, I'm finding it much less stressful being able to find those books and sort of picking on a whim has been really good. So now I just want to talk to you about Valentine's. Valentine's times was sort of how I dedicated my month, I set my TBR for it, I knew what I was going to do and as per usual setting a TBR is the worst idea for me because I just didn't want to read those books, as soon as they were on my TBR I didn't want to read them and so I ended up swapping and changing between books this month. So what I ended doing, up doing was when it came time to pick my next read I looked across my whole shelf and I just picked ones that fit the category that I felt like at the time and that's much better for me. So in future I think um, for readathons I'm going to leave them much looser and uh, in fact you're, if you watch my buzzword readathon at TBR which is coming up or might be read MBR coming up soon you'll see a bit more about how I'm going to be doing TBRs for um, readathons in the future. However, uh, this is talking about what I did manage to read and in fact I covered, as you can see, I was putting post-it notes on my bingo square, every square but two and that's including um, the challenges. So challenge one was cold shower, read a book that is rumoured to have a steamy scene and I read Lick by Kylie Scott. There was a prompt for a love song to write a poem which if you have seen, um, which video was it in? I think it's my Contemporary-a-thon wrap-up video. I read you my very, very uh, rubbish poem, but I did one, so I read you that. Uh, Roses are red, a book with red on the cover. I read City of Ghosts by V. Schwab. Beautiful on the shelf, read a book that is uh, has a beautiful cover. I chose for that In at the Deep End. I loved the cover of this. I'll put it here so you can see. Next is framing, take a picture of your favourite book and post it on social media. I posted on my Instagram account um, various different um, editions and different types of book for To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee which I think is my favourite book. Um, gift that keeps on giving, read a book that was given to you as a gift, for that I read Holding by Graham Norton, the lovely Janet from Swirly Girly Read gifted me that a while back. Heartwarming, read a book that makes you feel warm in your heart or a book that has warmed your heart in the past. I read Are We All Lemmings and Snowflakes uh, by Holly Bourne because I thought that was going to be sort of a feel good, it had kind of a feel good element to it so it fits the bill for this. Next is Forgotten Love and read a book that you previously DNF'd. I was meant to be reading The Poet X, I just didn't want to. I think if I make the choice to DNF, for me that is like a strike and I just can't bring myself to read it. So unfortunately I missed out that bingo square. The next one was Black History Month, read a book by a black author and for that I read uh, Whiskey and Ribbons. I listened to this on audio, I enjoyed it, um, it was quite a good read. 
Next is Puppy Love, a middle grade book. And for that, I've doubled up and I read City of Ghosts. Next is Living Single, read a standalone. And I read Conversation with Friends. That was my two star read. Um, Together Forever, buddy read a book with someone. I read uh, The a Red Sister with my buddy. And um, I think we both had pretty similar ideas, but I think she might have liked it more than me. Um, by Any Other Name, read a band book. That's the other one that I didn't manage to do. I was going to read In Cold Blood and I just chose not to um, I just didn't get round to it um, it's non-fiction I was already reading two quite heavy non-fictions this month which I'm still just about to finish so I just chose not to on that to the ends of the earth read a translated work I read convenience store woman uh, read cozy reason your cosiest clothing or blanket I always read in my pajamas covered in a blanket five stars read a book that a friend or foe or someone in your else in your life gave five stars I think Janet gave it for uh, holding five stars so I'm including that that where you go I go take a book everywhere you go in a day and read it in a different place I do that all the time anyway more to love read a book over 400 pages I'm including red sister there bubble bath if you know and you've seen my medical update video talking about the surgery I had earlier in the year I'm not at the moment still allowed to have baths I'm having to have showers um, so I couldn't really do those ones but I shower every day so I did fulfill the challenge um, I just couldn't read while I was showering. Uh, Happily Ever After, read a retelling. I read Oh My Gods. It's not a retelling, but it is including um, Greek gods. So I've kind of, I've allowed that one. Uh, Hot Date, read by Candlelight. I always read by Candlelight. Skinny Love, read a book under 200 pages. Convenience Store Woman again, fits the bill for that. Sharing is Caring, read a book that meets a challenge for another readathon. I read Orange, volume one. Uh, library Lovers Month, read a book from the library, and I read Goth Girl. So I have covered everything but two. I'm pretty proud of myself. That's more than I would usually do in this sort of readathon. So I'm really, really pleased with that. I'm pleased with my month. I'm pleased with this five star I got. So yeah, a really good month. If you want to find out more about what I'm doing in March, then uh, check out tomorrow to find out what I'm reading for the Buzzwordathon and check out my uh, March uh, TBR ideas as and when. I'm going to be doing March a different way, I think. I think I'm going to be doing some more try chapter tags. Um, in order to pick the books that I'm reading. I may not do any TBRs, set TBRs apart from readathons. I'm just going to play it by ear, but um, keep your eyes open to see what's coming next. And I look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye for now, BookTube.